What is something insignificant that you passionately hate? That shark fin shaped spot on my windshield that my wipers can't reach. You should invent a horizontal wiper that goes back and forth on a track. I was thinking about ones that would move in an elliptical motion rather than the radial arc. Back in the day my mom had a 525i from either 03 or 05 and it did exactly that and had no shark fin left over. Blew my mind as a kid. Welcome to watch Mojo's top 10 future technologies that we lost with time. Well this is a strange occurrence. In these unprecedented times, now more than ever, we would like to tell you that we care, but not enough to provide benefits or a living wage. Just know that we are all in this together, your pal, Bruges Bagels. When you are gonna walk through a door and your shirt or backpack, etc gets stuck on the handle. Or when the earphones cord gets caught as you're walking by and they get violently yanked out. Fills me with irrational rage every single time. This one is theorized to be a survival mechanism rather than something truly irrational. You aren't thinking about your head slashes and then suddenly there's a large and unexpected sensation concerning your ears across millions of years of evolution. Such a sensation is usually some form of threat, another animal attacking you, something hitting your head, etc. Your brain doesn't know what it is and wasn't expecting it. All it knows is you are probably already under attack. So the safest course of action is to prime you for a fight, since you might already be in one without realizing it, by kicking in the adrenaline and the rage. Yeah I would probably have the same reaction, if someone came up to me and gave me two simultaneous surprise wet willies. When the microwave keeps beeping, even after you've opened the door, to get your food out, like I know it's done, that's why I'm opening it, you don't need to keep screaming at me thanks. Best thing I ever googled is the mute combo for my microwave. Most microwaves have a hidden function. Like hold down button 2. To turn off the beep notification. Saves my sanity and hearing. I need to look this up for my mom's microwave. It gives 4 very loud. Shrill beeps when it's done. And if you don't get the food out within a minute. It does it again. If you hit the cancel button. It beeps 4 times quickly. As though it just has to get in those beeps. I hate that microwave. I hate when it's 4 beeps. It's just one too many. I just prefer groups of 3 I guess. Groups of people who block the entire sidewalk as they walk and talk. Walking so slowly without regard for anyone else. My dad always taught me to be a person that pays attention to their surroundings. It bothers me also. When people do this. If they are a full grown adult sometimes I say something. I feel like a parent telling random people this. Same. I end up cat hurting my friends too. Slash. People who try to get on the elevator before letting people off. Or onto the bus before letting people off. Or the train. Putting on the brights to compensate for a dead headlight. Or people who just use the brights all the time and are inconsiderate of other drivers. Oh. And those newer headlights that are blue tinted, dunno what they are called, and are stupid bright. I have chronic migraines and that shit gives me one every damn time. I'm not 100% sure. But those might be called xenon headlights. They are more accurately referred to as hid headlights the ones that are slightly blue, and usually have the projector style lens, rather than the big reflector dish. The worst ones in my experience, are the hid slash xenon effect halogens which are just a regular halogen bulb with a coating on the tip to cut the non-blue wavelengths somewhat, making them cooler, and in the US, also non-road legal, although everyone ignores that fact. They actually reduce your own visibility, making it harder to see where you're driving, while dazzling slash blinding oncoming traffic. People who stand in a 30 minute line, but wait until they get to the register to look at the menu. Mine is kind of like this. Why doesn't a drive through have two menus? I hate how I'm waiting behind another car for 5 minutes and can't see the menu. Then when I pull up and can finally see the menu they ask me what I want right away. The local jack in the box has a double menu set up in the drive through The first menu is exactly one car length in front of the actual ordering menu. It's lovely. I worked a jack in the box for 2, 5 years and I loved that we had the two menu boards. 
but it made it even more frustrating when people pulled up to the intercom and then made me wait 2 minutes before giving me their order. Something people that have never worked fast food might not know is we have 3 minutes from the time they pull up to the intercom until they pull away with their food. Otherwise we're in the red and can be written up. Is that why sometimes I'm told to find a parking spot and they'll walk the order out? I want a reason to tell my friends when they get pissed off for no reason when we are asked to do that. Oftentimes this is because one or more of the items you've ordered are not yet ready and the items for cars behind you are. If they have you clear the drive through they can continue the throughput of the people behind you. Video game ads that don't show actual gamma play footage or the ones that show what looks like a fun game but is actually just another candy crush. I'm looking at you. Homescapes. That's so many mobile game ads. It feels like there are three types of mobile games. Shitty Match 3. Shitty Kingdom Builder. And Shitty MMORPG. Don't forget about Shitty Gacha. And Shitty Fallout Shelter. Shitty AFK Games 2. People that pull out in front of you. When no one is driving behind you. And then drive 20 miles an hour. This. Fundamentally I don't mind people pulling out in front like this. But if you do. Fucking gun it. The rule I was taught was that if the person you pulled out in front of has to slow down, you should have waited or accelerated faster. Though this is my own addition. This is the way. Ick now that little bit of soda at the bottom of the can that you can never reach. Edit. This is my absolute greatest pet peeve thank you for everyone who agrees with me. But if something knocks over the can it will magically be able to spill out. Yet when I snap my spine into 20 different pieces bending over backwards for that little sip it won't even go near the exit of the can. People who talk on speakerphone or listen to music slash videos without headphones in public. Literally no one else wants to be subjected to your noise pollution. Stop it. Pretty sure this was the one of the lost commandments. Thou shalt fuck off with that bullshit. Something like that. People that walk through busy pedestrian areas with zero self-awareness. You know the ones almost bumping into you as they are glued to their phones. Stopping suddenly in front of you to gaze in a window. Four people walking spread out and making others step into the street. The list goes on. Or stopping to do their stuff right in middle of the doorway. Last week the lady in front of me at the doctor's office stopped to dig in her purse directly in front of the open elevator doors. JFC. People who watch TV or movies on their phone, without headphones in the break room. Edit. Thanks for the awards. I've been through it at, albeit not super pricey, seated restaurant. Where the table to my immediate left and right are playing videos on their phones full volume. One was the raucous laugh track after every literal sentence insanity of two and a half men. The other was a revolving set of internet fail clips completely ruined my meal, and because no one else seemed bothered I injured it in silence. We've asked to move in a restaurant before. Someone was letting a full volume tablet babysit their kid at a table adjacent. The staff seemed a little put out, until we said we'd be happy if they asked the other table to turn the tablet down. They moved us happily and quickly instead. My wife and I were out to breakfast one morning and a lady came in with two kids and sat near us. They were probably about age 2 and 5 or so. Well she immediately gives a tablet to one kid and her phone to the other while she reads the menu. Super loud videos and games start up and I'm immediately annoyed. Then the human slash boyfriend slash dad whatever walks in a me itm or to later and sits down. Grabs both devices and turns them way way down. Looks at her and says aggressively what is wrong you. We're in a restaurant. That was so rude. Then he leaned over towards us and apologized for the noise. Then I felt really bad because watching their dynamic during our meal made me think that he did all the parenting and she just ignored him and the kids. When people inappropriately use an apostrophe in the plural form of a word. Sunday's apostrophe. My manager wrote, because Christmas is this Friday, employees will be allowed to wear jeans to work on a whiteboard. I couldn't stop staring at it. I didn't say anything but I discreetly erased the apostrophe when no one was looking lol. Where Jane's what? The suspense is killing me. And have we even asked Jane about this? People that are ahead of me in the gas station buying a shit ton of lottery tickets. 
or scratches then they stand at the counter to scratch them off, lose, and then buy more, rinse and repeat. The really fucked up people are the ones who just scratch where the barcode is and immediately hand them back to the cashier for price scanning. I promise you, as someone who spent years working at a gas station, we hate that at least as much as you do. My wife leaving the microwave on a random number instead of zeroing it out so the time displays. I don't know why it bothers me so much but it does. My husband does this too. I hate looking up for the time and seeing 0021 instead. I also keep a plastic cover in the microwave. You're supposed to place it over the bowl or plate you're microwaving to prevent food splatter. Husband doesn't use it, which is fine, but he takes it out of the microwave, heats up his food, takes the food out, and leaves the plastic cover on the stove top instead of putting it back in the microwave. Drives me batshit, and I've asked him countless times to please put it back but he doesn't. Tell him it's now exclusively his job to clean the microwave. But then the microwave would be dirty forever. Commercials that have the food cannibalize each other. Just. Why. Not exactly cannibalism. But the pops at commercials make me rather run easy.